Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get to med school and other professional programs. Today, we're going to talk about one of the high-yield biology topics on the MCAT, the anatomical organization of the brain. In this video, we're going to talk about all of the big brain structures and their functions you need to know for the MCAT. Today, we are starting with the three main divisions of the brain. Let's jump into it. First, we want to know that the brain is divided into three main parts, the hindbrain, the midbrain, and the forebrain. The hindbrain is located at the base of the skull. It consists of the medulla, the pons, and the cerebellum. These structures are responsible for vital functions such as breathing, heartbeat, and balance. Moving up from the hindbrain, we have the midbrain, which is located in the center of the brainstem. The midbrain contains several important structures, including the tectum and tegmentum. These structures play a critical role in the sensory processing movement and arousal. We'll take a look at these in a second. And finally, we have the forebrain, shown here in orange, which is the largest and most complex part of the brain. The forebrain is divided into two main parts, the cerebral cortex, which is on the outside, and the subcortical structures, which is inside. The cerebral cortex is the outer layer of the brain responsible for many of our higher order functions, such as perception, cognition, and language. And yes, this includes all of the lobes. The subcortical structures, on the other hand, include structures such as the thalamus, hypothalamus, and basal ganglia, which are all involved in a wide range of functions such as sensory processing, hormone regulation, and motor control. Now that we've covered the basic organization of the brain, let's take a closer look at some of the key structures and functions you need to know for the MCAT. Let's first look at the medulla. The medulla is responsible for regulating autonomic functions such as breathing and heart rate, two very important things. The pons, on the other hand, is playing a role in sleep and arousal, as well as in relaying sensory and motor information between the cerebral cortex and the spinal cord. What helps me think of the hindbrain is this is what came first evolutionarily. So these are the essentials to keep a body going. We need to control the heartbeat. We need to control breathing. This is all critical brainstem stuff, our hindbrain or ancient brain. Moving on to the midbrain, the tectum, this little part highlighted in red up here, is responsible for processing visual and auditory information. While the tegmentum, highlighted down here, plays a role in motor coordination, arousal, and the perception of pain. Finally, let's talk about the coolest part, the forebrain. As mentioned earlier, the cerebral cortex is responsible for many of the brain's higher functions, and it's divided into four lobes, the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital lobe. You are responsible for knowing all of these lobes, as well as what they do. Each lobe is responsible for different functions, such as motor control, sensory processing, language, and vision. The subcortical structures include the thalamus, shown here in red, the hypothalamus, and the basal ganglia, which is hard to see on this picture. It's kind of inside and wrapping around. You can see it on this one in pink and purple. We want to know that this is inside the brain, not sitting on the outside. So the basal ganglia is kind of in the middle-ish on both hemispheres. All of these are involved in a wide range of functions, such as sensory processing, hormone regulation, and motor control. Understanding the anatomical organization of the brain is essential for success on the MCAT and for a deeper understanding of the brain's functions. By knowing the basic structures and their functions, you can better comprehend how the brain works and how it relates to the rest of the body. Thank you so much for watching our video on brain organization, and I'll see you next time.